So I want to take you through a few quick tips with working with the Pages panel inside of InDesign. So I go to the Pages panel here. We can change the appearance of the thumbnails. We can change the ordering and how things just show up in the Pages panel here by going to the Panel Options. If you right-click somewhere in a blank area or come to the Panel menu up in the corner up here, you'll see Panel Options. Click on that. What we can do is we can say don't show vertically. I do this all the time. I'm sick of scrolling down through the pages right here, so I want to be able to make it so they just tile in here. So if I turn off show vertically, it'll do that. You can also change the page thumbnail size to make them smaller, bigger, or even jumbo. Now, if you go to small or extra small, you'll lose the preview, the thumbnail that you typically get, but I'm usually okay with that. And then down here, you'll see we've got some things that get turned off. Now, I'm going to go back to medium here. And there is a little thing here that is kind of weird, but in CS5, InDesign, they turned off the transparency icon for your pages. In previous versions, if you had transparency on a page, it would show a little like transparency icon here. You can turn that back on by just selecting transparency right there. So you can also change the size or orientation and the size of you know how the panel appears. Masters on top, masters on bottom, that sort of thing. All right, I'll click OK, and you can see we start to see them tiling in here. Now, if I want to add pages, come down here, you'll see we get the create new page. Easy enough, click, you got a new page. But if you hold on Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, click create new page, you get the insert pages dialog box. So let me add three more here. Click OK. And there we go. You can see them tiling here. And even if I open up the uh, panel a little bit bigger, we can see more. Now, you can also do other shortcuts with this. If you come to the create new page button and you control click on Windows or command click on Mac, you get a new master page instead, which is kind of cool. Now, you can also make a new master and open the dialog box while you do it. So if you come to the new page, uh, create new page button down here, control alt on Windows, command option on Mac, create new master spread, click, and you got yourself the new master. You can change some things in here, base it on, do what you need to do, and click OK, and there we go. Now, a couple other short things, quick things we could do in here. If you come to a master page name and you want to rename it, Typically, I, I used to sit there and try and double-click on it, you know, get to it, that sort of thing. But if you come to it and you hold down Alt or Option on Mac, if you click on it, you'll get the Master Options dialog box. So that'll at least let you rename it. You know, I could say like Tucal or something like that. Click OK, and I've got my name. Uh, another, just a quick tip here, once again, if you guys have a bunch of masters and you want to apply masters to a series of pages, there's a million ways we can do this, but... One way that I find kind of effective in certain situations is to select the pages that I want to apply the masters to, come up to the master page, and Alt or Option on Mac, click on the master, and it'll apply it to the pages that are selected. Now, of course, we can drag down, drop it on top, that sort of thing. And a last little tip here, if you have a page in your document, let me pull this down, and let's say you realize, you're like, well, you know what, this would make a good master page, okay, a good starting point. You can take a page in your document, drag it up into the master area, let go, and you've got yourself another master page. Now, you do need to be careful because it's going to be based on whatever master page was applied to that page first, which is fine. You guys can always turn that off if you want by Alt or Option clicking on the name of the master right here and saying based on none or something like that. Now, you've got to be careful because it will remove those master elements, but that's fine. I have one more. You guys, one more. If you click on a master page and you want to copy it, what I usually do is I double click, click and start dragging, hold down the Alt key or Option on Mac, and if I drag down here, let's see if it'll let me do this, I can let go of my mouse and create a copy, but it's not letting me do it right now because there's no room, so let me do this. I'll drag the bar down here, click and start dragging, hold down Option or Alt, come to the bottom, there we go, let go of my mouse, let go of the key, and you've got yourself a copy of a master page. So... Lots of shortcuts in the Pages panel, you guys. There's even ton, there's tons more in here, but these are some of the things I just wanted to show you guys. So 